Uh, Wen Wei is a PhD candidate at Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. His research area is computer vision, and he has published five papers at top conferences and won the first prize in COCO. Uh, and also he has uh, won the best PKR award in New Science. Okay, uh, let's uh, welcome Wen Wei. Okay, thanks, Kai. I will show my screen. Okay, so let's start. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Wen Wei Zhang from the Nyon Technological University. So today I'm going to introduce, uh, share some experience about uh, using OpenMLab to accelerate uh, the research projects. So uh, this tutorial will cover three parts. First, uh, we will go through a project that run on customized data sets. Uh, we take the uh, images data set for a semantic segmentation as an example. Uh, we will use MIM to launch the training and the testing of the new projects as will be introduced in the second part. Third, we will show how to implement a new algorithm and quickly apply it for multiple vision tasks. The two examples are released in the MIM example. So please scan the QR and find out more. Okay, uh, let's start. Uh, to run on a customized data site, there are basically four steps to go. We need to uh, pre-process the data site, implement a new data site, and modify a config file, and finally run with uh, and train with the new data site. As you can see that uh, this new project is very tiny, simple, and self-contained based on the ML segmentation. Uh, it is built upon ML segmentation, but it is isolated from it. We don't need to modify the code in MM segmentation, but we can use the code in ML segmentation to run it through registry and mean. So the first step is to pre-process the data. According to the official documentation, the semantic masks in the NU images dataset are stored in two JSON files. So we need to extract and convert them to the uh, convert them to the segmentation maps in PNG format, which is more commonly used in training. We provide an off-the-shelf script to do that. After running the script, we can see that uh, we will see an annotation directory, but uh, that contains the split JSON files and the converted PNG images of semantic masks. Then we can uh, implement the data set. From the header of the code, we can see that here we treat MMSEC as a normal Python library like PyTorch and a Torch Vision. Then uh, when we creating the NU images data sets, we add a decorator, which registers this NU images data set class into the data set registry of MM segmentation. In this way, no matter uh, where the file is, it will register NU images data set into the MMSEC data set registry, as long as this file is imported by Python. Furthermore, your images data set inherits from custom data sets and only needs to override the load functions to load the, to load the JSON file. So basically the load annotations function uh, load the JSON file and convert it, it into the middle format of MS segmentation. The other functionalities of the data set, <coughs> like the evaluation are implemented by the custom data set and can be reused. So you can see that uh, the implementation of the data set is uh, very short, and then we can create a config to run it. Open MLab projects uh, usually decomposes a complete config file into four parts and put them into base configs so that we could reuse them without uh, duplicate the code. We can quickly build a new config by simply combining them, as you can see. So this is a config to run the NU images data set. The left part is the base config of the NU images. It first defines the training and the testing pipeline, and, they, and then defines the configuration to initialize the data set. The key step or key part in the config file is to define the custom imports. So it defines which file will be imported uh, when loading the config, and it manually loads the NU images data set so that it can ensure that uh, the images data set can be registered uh, before the building function. On the right, 
uh, you can see a complete file to run PSP9 with ResNet 18 on your images data set. So uh, in the header, it allows uh, four base configs for simplicity. And since the, uh, the base configs in the models usually uh, use the ResNet 50, here we need ResNet 18. So we override some keys to use ResNet 18. Basically, it is about the depths and the model channels. Furthermore, you can see that uh, MN segmentation release many uh, models, including the uh, PSP net with the ResNet 18 on the Cityscapes data set. So we could load it as a pre trained model and a fine tuning. Fine tuning usually uh, improves the final results. Uh, then uh, in the last step, uh, once we obtain a complete config, uh, we could train and test the model. So to train the model, we use mean. Um, by setting the mean train MSX, it will launch the training scripts in MS segmentation and with the and pass the following arguments. Once we train a model, we could test the model by mean test MSX. Uh, similarly, it will call the test script in the MS segmentation to test the model. So uh, here you may ask, uh, what is MIM? Uh, MIM is a new library we just released in the last month. We wish the library could further ease the usage of open MLab projects and accelerate the development of new projects. Therefore, the first thing MIM can do is to manage the open MLab packages. It can automatically find a suitable version of Prebuild MMCV so that users do not need to manually check their environment and the type of suitable installation command. It also handles the dependencies of open MLLab projects. For example, previously, if we needed to set up an environment to run ML detection and ML segmentation, it might take 10 minutes to build the MSCV from source. But now with this four command, uh, we could set up the environments in seconds with mean. MIM also provides a unified entry point of open MLLab projects as we did before. MIM supports to train, test, and a grid search with open MLAB projects. It will automatically launch the training and the testing scripts under the, under the tools directory of each project. For example, MIM train MDAT will call the train script in, under the MD detection tools directory. MIM train MCAS will call the train script in the MCASification tools directory. Some of you might also notice that the OpenMLab projects provide a meta file that contains the information of all the models they released. We use the same contract as paper with code, so PWC could easily import all projects. Now they manually import ML detection. So here in MIM, we also provide a, a interface to access this information and help to download and search models for specific criteria. And here is a full example of me. You can also scan a QR code to visit the, the GitHub site of me. So here it installs MMCV and you can see that in the manual uh, directly find the, it's, the environment is CUDA 11 and the Torch 1.8. It can also install the ML classification from the GitHub. By MIM list, you can uh, find uh, the open ML projects installed in your environment. So here it use MIM train ML class to uh, directly train model. You can see that it essentially finds the tools mm uh, trend of py in the m classification package it can also test uh, given the config file and the shell point
it can also launch the scripts under the M classification tools. And uh, here we use name run M class and the name of the script. And it will publish the model. Okay, so uh, let's continue on the second uh, example. So here we uh, take the swing transformer as an example to show that uh, how to uh, implement a new general algorithm and run it with multiple vision tasks. So the first step is to implement it and do remember to register it the, to the backbone registry. Then we can modify the config to check and test it. Finally, uh, as you can see, such a project uh, can be very lightweight because it only contains four files. So the only, uh, the only code is for the swing transformer and the last three is about the uh, configure files to train with MA detection and MA classification and MA segmentation. So the first step uh, to implement a swing transformer. So the key part in the code is shown in the left. Still, we make the uh, ML class as a library and register the swing transformer into backbones registry in ML classification. It essentially builds a mapping from the string of swing transformer to the Python class of swing transformer. Consequently, we can use it by setting the type in the config and uh, the builder function will build a correct module for us. So in the last two months, uh, ML classification and other many uh, open ML projects gradually inherit their model registry in MMCV, which means that their models registry can be regarded as a descendant of the model registry in MMCV. This is a significant step because the model registries in each library are connected by the MSCV system, and we can freely combine them, these modules to implement uh, new algorithms. For example, here, uh, we implement the swing transformer in the ML classification. Uh, however, we can also uh, use the build function in ML detection to find a swing transformer by explicitly adding the scope of ML class. So in ML detection config, uh, we, we only need to add the ML class dot to specify the scope of swing transformer and the builder, and the builder function will handle it and find the swing transformer in ML classification. In this way, though we need to use swing transformer for multiple vision tasks that are supported by like uh, MM detection, MM segmentation, and MM classification, we only need one implementation in this project rather than copy three implementations in the three forks of these projects. We can take a deeper look at the modified config of each task. So here is the swing mask SEN configuration. As usual, it will load uh, four base configs, and we only need to modify the key pre-trained to load the pre-trained swing transformer and the backbone uh, in the config to use the swing transformer. So here you can see that it specified the scope I'm a class dot so that it can find uh, the swing transformer in the ML classification, though we are running with ML detection. And still, we need a custom import to make the file imported so that the swing transformer can be registered. And this is the config file of the swing upper net for semantic segmentation. Uh, it looks very similar to the previous one. Basically, uh, we also load four base configs, including a model, data set, runtime settings, and schedules. And we also modify the key of pre trend and the backbone. And we still need the custom imports. For image classification, uh, this the, is the config for the swing transformer tiny. So here uh, we do not need the mclass dot anymore to specify the scope because in mm classification, the default scope of the module is mm class. And we could uh, also use the meme to train the model. For example, to train swing mask as in with m detection, we only need the meme train m dot with the following arguments. To train swing upper net with MS segmentation, we also only need to type meme train MS seg. So, uh, 
so the uh, takeaways. Uh, so first thing is that uh, to accelerate uh, the development and to reduce the projects, uh, we could use Meme to launch training and testing in your projects so that you don't need to copy the tools in each project anymore. And the second thing is that we use the registry to freely implement modules and extend open MLM libraries rather than forking and modifying the library. So this makes uh, your projects isolated from the uh, open MLM libraries and uh, uh, it can also be freely extend by using the registry. So the last thing and uh, also the most important thing that uh, general modules like backbones, they only need one implementation for multiple tasks. And uh, we, we can do that and we could, uh, we could uh, use that in other projects by specifying the scope of these modules. So that's all for this tutorial and uh, feel free to ask questions. I'm sorry, can I ask questions? This, uh, the, the, the previous professor, you are the same team? I think the open MM lab are the same. So can I ask questions about this? You also do the searching and find the laws? Uh, uh, sorry, you mean that uh, I also do the searching for what? Loss, loss function. So they are the same. Uh, you mean the the previous uh the yeah loss. I saw the I saw the same object or the same product I think you talk uh, about. Okay. Oh, so so basically, this they are all extensions or research projects based on Open MLab, and the Open MLab provide the the key and or the core functionalities like to okay. train and testing a model. Yeah. So they okay. are extended. Okay, thank you. So, thank you. Can I ask a question? Maybe you, you are kind of, since a professor is so busy, we can just can I answer me the question. Since you build this, find the two, uh, based on searching method to find the best loss, you based, uh, whether you based on the pre, uh, prediction accuracy. So, the prediction accuracy is the best, or then loss function is the best. Uh, actually, I'm not aware of the details in the okay. flaws. Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, if you are interested, you may uh, directly email Jifong. Yeah. So, okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. And mm -hmm. I see a question that is meme compared with the Slurm chain. Yes. So, uh, so basically every transcript in the OpenML project, they uh, support Slurm, uh, MPI, or any other distributed. Uh, so meme is also compatible with the Slurm, tra uh, Slurm training and the order. So as you can see that uh, there is a launcher here. So uh, if you want to uh, use Slurm, so here we, the launcher is Slurm. And uh, if we need, want the PyTorch to handle the distributed training, we set the launcher to PyTorch. Uh, it also supports MPI, yeah. So basically MSCV now supports these three types. And feel free to ask if you think uh, any other important features. Yeah, you can create an issue in Meme or MSME. Yeah. So uh, as time is limited, I will handle this uh, back to Kai. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Uh, thanks to one way. And next, we will uh, go to the next presentation by uh, Yongjie. Uh, okay, let's let me uh, first introduce him.